Right now at 10, breaking news. The city of La Crosse takes another step to put a ban on conversion therapy in place. And evidence and injuries. The Monroe County jury get its first look at the acts prosecutors say a Sparta man used to kill a res relative. Plus, filling prescriptions and a critical need. A La Crosse hospital program is reducing a pharmacy staffing shortage and long lines. You're watching WKDT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Amy DuPont. Ken is off tonight and we begin with that breaking news. La Crosse's Judiciary and Administration Committee voted 3-1 to one to pass an amended version of the city's ban on conversion therapy. Conversion therapy is a controversial practice to change a person's sexuality or gender identity. Now the council first passed a ban back in June, but it wasn't put into place and critics have threatened to sue the city if it is, arguing the ban violates freedom of religion. The the amended version specifies that the ban would only apply to a state or federally licensed medical or mental health professional. It does not include clergy members and it states if a licensed professional violates the ban, the city would prefer that person to Wisconsin's Department of Safety and Professional Services for an investigation and action the state agency deems appropriate. Members of the community took to the podium ahead of the vote and made passionate arguments on both sides. Are you on Jesus Christ's side or the devil's side? And remember, you will stand before Jesus Christ one day and answer for how you voted. This ban is for professionals. It is for uh, myself, licensed professionals, uh, medical doctors, because the ATA, the AMA, all ban this because of the evidence that this does more damage than it does good. The ordinance now moves to the full Common Council. If approved, the mayor would need to sign it and it would need to be published before it takes effect. Another beautiful day in the Cooler region. And Bill, what did you call it? The three H's are in effect right now. Yeah, and uh, if you stick around for uh, my full forecast, uh, you'll see exactly what that means. But uh, fancy way of saying there's a large dome of high pressure that's going to keep us dry. It did it today. It's going to do it tomorrow, and it's going to do it again on Thursday as well. High temperature, 80 degrees out at the La Crosse Air, uh, Airport, but most spots in the mid to upper 70s. So we were the warm spot, which is oftentimes the case out there on uh, Sandy French Island there in the river. Valley. Uh, otherwise, a cloudless sky across the region. 66 now in La Crosse, 64 in Winona and Eau Claire. Some low to mid 50s already in our traditional cooler spots to the north and east. Clear tonight, seasonable temperatures and low humidity. Yeah, windows open night for sure. Lows in the 50s to around 60 degrees, uh, right around 60 out of the La Crosse airport. School cast for the last day of August. Lower 60s tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine, maybe a few fair weather clouds in the afternoon and a little bit warmer. Highs tomorrow around 85 degrees. I'll discuss our our next chance for some rain with my eight day forecast and that uh, detailed explanation of the three H's coming up in just a few minutes as well. All right. Thanks, Bill. OK, for the first time, the jury got to see the acts. Prosecutors say a Sparta man used to kill a relative and injure two others. Prosecutors say in June of last year, 38 year old Thomas Appsetter was upset with his family and used the acts to attack his three victims. During a second day of testimony, a DNA analyst who works the Wisconsin State Crime Lab and examined evidence collected at the scene told the jury DNA on the axe belonged to the suspect. It is at least 11 billion times more likely to observe this DNA mixture profile if it is a mixture resulting from Thomas Asbetter and three other people than if it were a mixture resulting from four random unknown people. Medical experts who also took the stand today described the victim's injuries. One of the surviving victims, a 76-year-old man, was on a ventilator and had to be fed through a tube. Now, he has since been released from the hospital. The prosecution is expected to wrap up its case tomorrow. Then it's the defense's turn. Absetter's attorneys say it is possible Absetter will testify. A big relief for drivers who take Highway 35 south of Genoa. The construction project there is wrapping up. Crews have been working on the stretch of the road from Genoa to DeSoto since the beginning of April. The road reopened just over two weeks ago, but workers are still putting on the finishing touches like new pavement marking signs and lighting. Drivers may still see flaggers on the road. A DOT official tells Newsday now that a majority of the work should be done by the end of next week.
Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers is headed back to school. The governor kicked off his statewide back to school tour today and he made a stop at La Crosse's Northside Elementary. The governor recently announced he will spend $90 million in COVID-19 relief funds on Wisconsin's public K-12 schools. The governor says that money will help schools retain teachers and fill staff openings. We feel that that's an important thing for our school districts to uh, uh, to have these resources to kind of get through this pandemic and what what the pandemic has caused for them. The money is made possible by the Federal American Rescue Plan Act and will be distributed to schools on a per student basis. A lacrosse convenience store is expanding its benefits to attract and retain employees. Quick Trip opened the doors to its new child care center today. That company employs roughly 3,000 people in the area, and Quick Trip's public relations director says it's hard for some employees to find child care, and this is one solution. The Kids Learning Center is an investment, they say, in employees' families. Child care is a necessity for our young parents, and it's also a bit of a hassle sometimes to find that. So we wanted to provide the opportunity for our families to have a great place to bring their children. This child care center is a partnership with Bright Horizons. Though many child care centers have struggled to find staffing, Bright Horizons VP says her company provides benefits that help retain employees. We do have ratios that we have to meet, so many teachers, so many um, children, so it's a really great way to um, get employers to work for Bright Horizons who really want to have the career in early childhood. Now this center is located in the former La Crosse Wellness Center building that's on Darling Court. Care though is only available for Quick Trip employees. If you've picked up a medication at your local pharmacy, you may have waited in a long line. Pharmacy technicians, like so many others, are in short supply. But as News 8 Now's Dewis Rar found out, a Gunderson healthcare program has cut the shortage by half. Kaylee Retzloff joined Gunderson Health System's pharmacy tech training program in April. It's always super busy here. We're always flying around, running into each other. The program began in 2019 when the hospital was short roughly 40 pharmacy technicians. Uh, since it launched, we've actually had multiple cohorts that are able to support pharmacy tech uh, trainees. In three years, the program has reduced Gunderson's shortage by half, but the need for more techs is never ending. On average, we see usually around 15 to 20 positions that need to be filled. Chad Doering, the director of recruitment, says one of the issues is more people need more care. Patients are um, sicker and they're requiring more complex, uh, more extensive medications. Pharmacy technicians have a range of responsibilities, including insurance claims, packaging, and dispensing prescriptions. It's just really cool to kind of see all the behind the scenes and how much stuff is and all the different things that you don't really see as the consumer. Retzloff says the shortage impacts wait times and can put pressure on staff. Hey, it might just be me and one other person in here kind of doing everything, typing your prescription, filling it, um, doing all your insurance. So it does get a little stressful. She says people who are interested in medicine should consider becoming a pharmacy technician. Kind of took a chance and now it's my favorite thing in the world. Because in a hospital, every role has an impact on patient care. In La Crosse, the West Rock, News 8 Now. And uh, private companies also doing some things to recruit folks. Walgreens is offering a $1,250 bonus for new pharmacy technicians. And any technician certified to administer flu shots and vaccines will receive an additional $1,000 bonus. Well, up next, student debt relief may come with a price. How much Wisconsin borrowers may have to pay in taxes. And later, proof that old dogs can learn new tricks. The rescue pups turned superstars showing off at the Minnesota State Fair. I worked really hard to save for retirement, worked all the hours I could, whatever it took. But Ron Johnson thinks we should consider raising the retirement age for Social Security and Medicare. That's a terrible idea. And he voted over and over again to weaken and cut Medicare, driving up our costs. Ron Johnson even wanted to privatize Social Security, calling it a legal Ponzi scheme. Tell Ron Johnson to strengthen Medicare. 
Change it up and choose Dutch Boy from Menards. Get the best quality Dutch Boy paints at the best prices. Pick out the perfect color. We offer free custom color matching and tinting to create thousands of color options. And with Dutch Boy's easy opening, smooth pouring container, and no prep, no prime formula, transforming your home has never been easier. Save 11%. And all Dutch Boy paints now at Menards. Look, we knew the other side would make up lies about me to scare you. Now they're claiming I want to defund the police and abolish ICE. That's a lie. I'll make sure our police have the resources and training they need to keep our community safe. And that our communities have the resources to stop crime before it happens. I'll bring back manufacturing. And I'll pass a middle class tax cut. And if that's too scary for Washington, then so be it. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Wisconsinites with student loans will have to pay state taxes on any loan forgiveness. Under the Biden administration policy announced last week, some students are eligible for up to $10,000 of relief. But as reporter Will Keneally explains, the state tax bill is expected to be roughly $530 still a pretty good deal, but you need to realize it's coming. That's because unlike the debt, the tax bill comes out of the borrower's pocket. The $10,000 doesn't appear in your bank account. It's an amount you don't have to pay back over a course of years, but the $530 tax bill is a one-time hit. So what does this mean for individual borrowers? Walzak says the forgiven debt is lumped into your regular income. This generally won't affect what tax bracket you're in. Someone could, for instance, have been in grad school or law school in 2020 and now have a successful practice. They could be in that higher bracket, but that's not going to be the typical recipient. But why is it taxed at all? Wisconsin taxes money coming into your bank account in different ways. If you profit off a home sale, for instance, you generally don't have to pay taxes on it. If you profit from investments or, in this case, someone forgiving your debt, you do have to pay Wisconsin taxes. States can choose how they want to set up that system. Wisconsin is among 13 states that will tax the student loan debt forgiveness because it has not updated part of its tax law. Lawmakers will have to decide early next year whether they want to take fast action to address this. Wisconsin's legislature is not likely to take it up before next year, and it's unclear whether the Republican majority will support the change. They have generally been critical of the Biden administration's move to forgive the debt. Our sister station WISC-TV in Madison did reach out to legislative leadership and has not heard back. For its part, the State Department of Revenue says it will ask the legislature not to tax debt forgiveness when the agency makes its budget requests next year. Coming up, thousands of eagles are about to land in La Crosse, but the loudest? They're already back on campus. We're going to check in with the screaming eagle eagles after the break. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Graw. Looks like a couple of warm days on tap for the region. I'll discuss all the details of my eight day forecast after the break. Classic antique and collector car auction, Winona, Minnesota, October 7th and 8th. Everyone welcome is a buyer, seller, or spectator. Midwest's largest collector car auction. Consign now and turn your classic into cash. Find out more at RemlingerAuctions.com or call 507-450-3173 today. RemlingerAuctions.com. In this blistering Wisconsin heat, imagine not being able to cool yourself by simply pressing a button. It may seem easy to imagine for 60 seconds, but for many, it's a reality they can't ignore after that minute is up. Families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling in the scorching heat of summer. And those are just the ones we know about. A hot summer day is not simply uncomfortable for them. It can be deadly. If you have the means to help, please consider offering a hand up. No matter the amount, every dollar helps. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one in Wisconsin deserves to suffer when we can help each other. When our kids go to school, we want them thinking about this, not worrying about this. But Tim Michaels 
would allow guns on school grounds and let teens buy AR-15s and red flag laws that help prevent school shootings, he says they won't happen here. It's another reason Tim Michael's radical agenda is a risk we just can't afford. Look at that. What you're seeing is Olson Solar Energy working in the sun to make the sun work for you. What you can't see are the lower or no energy bills, selling extra energy back to your electric company, and the increase in property value without an increase in property taxes. The sun works for homes and businesses. The only thing you need is Olson Solar working in the sun to make the sun work for you. Now booking installations for 2023. Call Olson Solar Energy today. CityCam 8 is brought to you by The Board Store. Are new windows in your future? We're a pro via platinum dealer with certified installers. We'll help you find the best style, color, and glass options for your budget. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Our community, your station. Pedestrian traffic in La Crosse is going to pick up tomorrow through Sunday. New and returning students are moving into UW La Crosse's residence hall each day between 9 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. The arrival of students is, of course, going to lead to increased traffic along a number of streets, including Badger, Campbell Road, Oakland, Pine Vine State, and West Avenue. Bringing in about 300 students always leads to a lot of chaos. And with construction going on back here on La Crosse Street, it adds a little different dynamic, but again, plans are in place to make an enjoyable experience for the families and new students moving in. Now, students did reserve a time slot prior to move-in day that should help alleviate move-in clutter. UW La Crosse's Screaming Eagles marching band is back for another season and their band camp is already underway. It's going to run through Friday. The band will perform at every home football game at Veterans Memorial Stadium as well as other area venues. It's very exciting. It's, uh, it's the students work very hard and their reward is that audience reaction and just performing in front of people and people appreciating what they're doing and, and just getting that great vibe from a performance. And you can catch the Screaming Eagles in action before those football games. You can actually see them at Moon Tunes this Thursday night at 530. And of course, so many things going on. We have move in. We have the last week of summer vacation and Bill, the weather is going to be great for all those things. It's looking good. A little speed bump perhaps on Friday with a slight chance for some showers, maybe a very small chance on Saturday as well. But other than that, uh, things are looking good over the next week or so. Uh, let's get to that allergy report. High symptoms across the board for ragweed, weed pollen, and mold spores for tomorrow and Thursday. And ragweed pollen counts typically peak around the end of August, and that's exactly where we are. So it's no wonder those ragweed symptoms are on the high side. Skies are currently crystal clear. Had a nice uh, crescent moon set earlier this evening. 80 the high today, 61 the low. So just one degree off both that average high and low. 97 the record high. That was a warm one set 10 years ago. Uh, sunrise uh, this morning at 626. Sets uh, set earlier this evening at 740. For August rainfall, three and a half inches, so only about a quarter inch below average. So uh, overall this summer, we've been pretty close to average in terms of the rainfall for most of our area. It's been a little bit drier to the north and west. 66 at the airport, 66 downtown here at the station with that clear sky. Winds have really come down and the Mississippi rising a little bit. 5.90 feet. Eau Claire, 64 degrees there. Winds out of the west southwest at 7. And the Chippewa River rising a bit, 760.5. Uh, so most spots in the 60s, couple of 70s, Twin Cities, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, Chicago, Milwaukee, some of the bigger cities. You get that urban heat island stuff going on as well with all the concrete. So uh, most of those areas in the 70s. But locally, low to mid 60s, although our traditional cool spots, the sandy soils of Monroe, Jackson, uh, uh, Juneau and Adams counties in the low to mid 50s there and also dew points between about 50 and 60 degrees. So that puts us in that pleasant to comfortable range and that's going to be the trend overnight. That's why I'm saying a windows open night with comfortable and dry air in play and seasonable temperatures as well. Crystal clear skies uh, thanks to again we were talking about that earlier. You've heard of the 4-H club. I'm calling this the 3-H club and that's basically a large dome of high pressure keeping much of the country dry and I've expanded sky tracker view just to show that the lack of cloud cover for tomorrow, maybe a few high thin wispy clouds like we saw at times today. Clear tomorrow night, 
Maybe some patchy fog late tomorrow night, early Thursday. Otherwise, some passing clouds down to the south might uh, creep into parts of the area on Thursday uh, with a partly cloudy sky, but still uh, dry until that slight chance on Friday. Zone forecast showing highs tomorrow, mid 80s across the county, right around 85 in the La Crosse area, so a little bit warmer than today. You can pick out your favorite location on our zone forecast, over 65 to choose from. And as you can see, most spots between about 81 and 85 degrees, including about 82 or 83 for you folks in Oklahoma. Claire and the Chippewa Valley. So for tonight, clear and comfy, seasonable temperatures, lows in the 50s to around 60, right around 60 here in La Crosse. Uh, 85 tomorrow, sunny and warmer. Uh, more the same Thursday to welcome in uh, September and uh, believe it or not, first day of meteorological fall on September 1st as well, 86, but it's going to feel like summer with highs mainly in the 80s. There's that slight chance of rain on Friday, very small chance on Saturday. Otherwise, right now, Sunday and Labor Day looking dry and uh, highs back in the 80s again for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So uh, fairly warm. A lot of these numbers above average for mm -hmm. the next eight days. And hey, it would not be a holiday weekend if there wasn't at least a little chance for rain. Yeah, if we <laughs> time this out right, though, you know, I know a lot of us are going places on Friday but yeah. hopefully Saturday most of it will be dry and then Sunday and Monday will stay dry, which would uh, that'd be something because a three day holiday weekend. It's hard to do that. It is. All right. Thank you. Bill. OK, coming up in sports, Holman hosting Aquinas tonight on the volleyball court, plus a buzzer beater on the pitch, a wild finish in boys soccer. Rob has the highlights next. News 8 Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or treatment for a complex condition, Mayo Clinic Health System has convenient and safe options for the care you and your family need. Inflation, it's everywhere. But with the buy one famous star, get another one for a dollar deal at Hardee's. There's finally some relief. Bite into the famous star today, only at Hardee's. Your home improvement company has hot summer deals for your home renovation. Get windows, roofing, bathrooms, and more, all with excellent warranties and installed by trained and certified professionals. As always, you can get zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2024. Book a free estimate now to get 10% off your entire project. So stay cool by getting your project done right the first time. Your home improvement company, where it's your home made better. Listen to this sweet deal. Ron Johnson used his office to scoop up millions for himself. Like how Johnson secured a special tax break that benefited his own business. Did my business benefit? Sure. The tax break helped Johnson double his wealth. And the cherry on top? It's helped make him the fifth richest senator in Washington. Ron Johnson's not looking out for Wisconsin. He's out for himself. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. Check it out. It'd be crazy to do this drug. But even crazier to do that drug. Drive sober on your wheels. And we mean all your wheels. Next to Market Watch, numbers. Boring. In more delicious news, there's a buy one famous star, get one for a dollar deal at Hardee's. Bite into the famous star today, only at Hardee's. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Busy night for high school sports, so let's get right to it. It's always a great environment when two conference rivals are going at it, and that was the scene tonight on the volleyball court at home in high school. Vikings have been red hot to start the season. They were going to need their best tonight against conference foe Aquinas on the other side early on in the first. All home in. Raina McArdle with the set. Izzy Jar with the kill. Vikings go up four. Later on in the set, Holman still on, still on the attack this time. Lydia Olsen going up high, keeping that rocket in bounds. It's 2013 Vikings. And then on set point, Grace Eikhoff, perfect setup for Kyla Krasnovich. The senior gets it done. First set goes to the home team, 25-16. But in the second, home and up seven. Blue gold staying in it. City Emineth cuts it to six. Aquinas would drop the second, but the Blue Golds win the next three. And they shock home and on the road, three sets to two. On Alaska hosting Central Volleyball tonight. Central's Laurel Erickson can't get the serve over. That's going to give On Alaska the first set, 25 
19, second set. Central's Ellie Buxton tips the ball over the net. On Alaska's Bailey Yang tries to save it, but can't. Central wins the set 25 to 15. Third set now. Central serving Yang. Setting, but on Alaska can't get it over. Central wins the set 27-25. Fourth. Central leads 2-1. Ellie Muscati serves up an ace. That gives on Alaska the fourth set. All right, last set. Here we go. On Alaska is going to serve, but it's tipped back over by Ruby Gerhard. On Alaska with some good passing. Bailey Yang sets it over for Claire Pedretti, who gets it to fall. And on Alaska takes set five and the win over Central. Those same schools going at it on the pitch as well in Onalaska. Riverhawks and Hilltoppers in a big MVC clash. First half, Onalaska threatening. Matt Hawkley kicks it out to Lucas Von Weiss. Perfect touch, kicks it in for the goal. 1-0 at the half, but now it gets wild. Griffin Schultz with the cross and gets all the way to Von Weiss again. A second goal for him. It's 2-0 Onalaska. A little later, Schultz making a run. Has a ton of space. Chips it right over the keeper to put the Hilltoppers up three. But don't count out the Riverhawks. Landon Larson makes a run. He finds the net. That's Central's first goal. A few minutes later, Larson again. A header on the cross, finds the net. But no time to celebrate because time is running out. Last 30 seconds, Larson crosses it in. Peyton Hamilton heads it into Colton Klein. Klein finds the back of the net as time expires. Central erases a three-goal deficit in the second half to tie it. What a match. Let's stay on the pitch. Aquinas back in action tonight. Blue Goals hosting Holman in conference play. And a big night for the Vikings. Elliot Waldron. He didn't waste any time. Corner pocket for the score. Vikings go up one. Later on in this one, it got a little dark, but Waldron could still see it. He puts it in for his second goal tonight. It's 2-0. Vikings not letting up, though, later on in this one. Matthew Lewandowski sneaks this shot through some traffic. Another goal for the Vikings. Holman gets the shutout win over Aquinas. Four to nothing. Well, it's already week three of the high school football season in Wisconsin, but Minnesota high schools kick off the regular season this week. And one school that's looking to bounce back and regain their status as a football powerhouse is Caledonia. The Warriors were at the top of the mountain just a few years ago. A true dynasty in high school football. Five straight state titles for the Warriors from 2015 to 2019, but it's been a bit of a struggle since that point. The team had its season cut short in the first round of the playoffs last year finishing with the 4-5 and five record. But the Warriors have their eyes set on this season. A few of the seniors on the squad were a part of that undefeated championship team back in 2019. And for head coach Carl Frichty, getting back to where they've traditionally been is going to come down to two things, communication and trust. And so far, Frichty likes what he sees from this group. I feel good about us, you know, I mean, you never know until you get under live bullets, right? Um, but our kids have a lot of enthusiasm, they're working hard, um, we're stepping in the right direction. And again, um, I don't want us to look our best right away Friday. Uh, we want that to be around 6, 7, and 8, you know. We want to be peaking right around, you know, the beginning of tournament time, obviously. The Warriors open up the regular season at Pine Island on Friday night. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back. Did you know Tim Michaels pledged to cut millions from public schools and give it to private schools instead? His plan would increase property taxes by $500 million. Tim Michaels is too radical and too divisive. It's the Bobby Bone Show right here on Kix 106.3. Reed and Chelsea are up right after me at 10.30. Okay, Reed, it's time to say thanks. What did I do now? <laughs> Not you. Grant? <laughs> No, Reed, it's time to thank our listeners for making Kix 106.3 the highest rated country station in La Crosse County. Kix 106.3. Thanks, La Crosse County. After you've been injured in an accident, life becomes chaotic. You're missing time from work, bills are piling up, you have doctor's appointments, you're being harassed by insurance adjusters who are trying to get you to settle your claim. At Bygoff and Rody, we take that chaos from you. We'll get the medical bill submitted. We'll deal with the insurance companies. We'll make sure that you get the compensation that you deserve. At Bygoff and Rody, we get results. Hey, Jerry here with Stockman's of Osseo, where we have the freshest produce in the area. We have so much produce, I'm up to my ears. I hope that's not too corny. We have locally grown zucchini, yellow squash, cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, tomatoes, red onions, yellow onions, watermelon, cantaloupe, 
sweet corn, fresh dill, green beans, wax beans, peppers, and more. And we have all your canning supplies, and I'll be looking for you. Ram Tough, it's perfect for us at Pishke Motors. We've got some pretty tough customers. You'll save big on Ram during the Make This the Summer Sales event. Now through August 31st, you can get a 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 with 0% financing for 72 months and no payments for 90 days. Stop by in West Salem or La Crosse and test drive one today. Ram and Pishke Motors, getting the job done. Did you know Tim Michaels pledged to cut millions from public schools? We're already throwing so much money at education. He'll drain classrooms and gut school funding. Is that the kind of divisive radical you want as your governor? A group at the Minnesota State Fair is trying to prove that old dogs can learn new tricks. The All-Star Stunt Dog Splash Show travels around the country showing off that shelter dogs can be turned into superstars. Reporting as Hanzada introduces us to the pack. Make Not even close. Grab some dog lovers. Uh, go! Go, 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 go. Splash. Yes. Yes. Good job. Yes. And looking good doing it. We actually do shows all over the United States, uh, from halftime shows the NFL, to performing arts centers, to big awesome fairs like the Minnesota State Fair. So you live on the road? We're on the road probably about eight, nine months out of the year. Wow. It looks easy, but it takes hard work. How many hours of practice do you think it takes to get this good? A whole day. How much training does it take to get to yeah. <laughs> what we saw today? Well, it takes a good year to year and a half to train one of these dogs to the level that you're seeing out here. Um, but we're always teaching the dogs to do new things as they get older. They are on a special diet. Their diet is, is basically good for their coat. It's good for their, their well-being and their activity. From dock dives to dodging the dive altogether. These pups clearly have some experience under their tails, but what you probably can't tell from the stands is that all of them are rescues. And people don't realize how great dogs from shelters and pounds can be. They seem to think that they're the they're the misfits, they're the ones that, that can't make good dogs, but that's not the truth. Please check there first. You even, you even might find the exact breed you're looking for. 40% of dogs in shelters are actually purebreds. It was the coolest thing that they've ever done in their whole lives. Uh, you know, they're pandemic children, so of course that doesn't totally say much, but it they were so excited. It's crazy that the dogs can do that. I want to teach my sister's dog. And we wanted our shot. Hey, Vinny, jump. Oh, jump, Vinny. Oh, jump, Vinny. Hey. To be pawtastic too. What what was that? <laughs> you love jumping rope? They are just like <laughs> clapping, standing up, screaming. The the almost two-year-old was screaming again, again, again. What do you think of the tricks today? They were amazing. Are you gonna come back for the next show? I think so. She's very disappointed that it's over. I'm going to have to break it to her that we're, we're going to have to leave. But yeah, they're going to have to teach your dog how to do this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's my worry is we're going to go home and they're going to expect Patterson to be doing all the tricks. I've never seen them so happy. They're hugging each other. We'll be back for sure. This was awesome. Talk about good dogs. We'll be right back. At Batteries Plus, we do more than replace batteries and fix phones and tablets. We help our neighbors power their lives. Need a phone fixed? We got it. Get powered in-store, curbside, and at BatteriesPlus.com. Is this the new phone? Yeah. With US Cellular, I got to pick any phone that I wanted for free. And I was already a customer. Any brand? With any size? Mm -hmm. I got exactly what I wanted. Big screen, big storage. I cannot remember the last time I had so many different options. At US Cellular, new and current customers can get any phone from any brand free. Are you actually texting them? I don't know. I Are just like you? thought I would just... US Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Air conditioning stopped working? Tired of finding ways to stay cool? Don't sweat it. Give G&T Heating and Air Conditioning a call. They'll have you feeling cool as a cucumber without having to resort to, well, uh, alternative methods. Call g and for the best seating and air conditioning guaranteed. Here's Mandela Barnes avoiding questions about his unpaid taxes. He stormed out of an interview after being asked about his unpaid property taxes. Barnes also paid no income tax, yet Barnes supports Biden's tax increase on working families and an army of new IRS agents to audit middle class families. 
Mandela Barnes, higher taxes for you, unpaid taxes for him. Wisconsin Truth Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. They want to talk about property tax. Hypnotize your way to savings. Breathing techniques to help you save. Looking to make saving a habit? Yeah, what's the secret? No secret. Just open a savings account at BMO and we'll give you a cash reward for every month you save. A cash reward? Just for saving. Mm hmm And when you open a checking account, we'll give you a $300 bonus to get your new savings habit started. Love that. What's your book? How to get a $300 bonus and a monthly cash reward for saving with BMO. He literally wrote the book on saving. Has me on the cover. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. Attention foodies. With this fusion of prime rib steak, melted provolone, and other magical melty stuff, Arby's is now officially a fusion restaurant. Chef Smooch, Arby's, we have the meat. Low temperature tonight around 60, highs tomorrow around 85. Love it. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.